Quantifiable attributes. Talking about testability brings us to the next point, the need for our requirements to be quantifiable. Quantifiable requirements are measurable and verifiable. It helps us to ensure that the requirements are clear and unambiguous. Suppose the requirements stated that they need the software to be fast. How do we make sure we have accomplished this? I don't think this is testable. What does fast mean? It is a subjective term, and fast to me might not mean fast to the client. Therefore, when it comes to the requirements, being quantifiable is essential. Fast could mean that the report can be printed in less than 10 seconds on a machine with a dual process and 8 gigabytes of memory. Now, this is testable. This is quantifiable. I remember when we were developing software in Egypt for a client in the US. He asked that the software would be very fast. We developed the software, sent some data over the internal network, and everything was pretty fast. When we deployed the software on the client's environment, he complained about the slowness of transferring the data on his local network. It turns out that the local network at the client's company was much slower than ours in Egypt. My company in Egypt was using specially dedicated fiber optics cables for the internet. We should have tested the software in an environment similar to the client's actual environment. How do I measure usability? We can measure how many errors we meet during the actual operation of the software. Displaying errors is a good thing, because that means we have well-formed documentation. If a customer asks for good-looking software, how am I going to measure that? Here we can say we would measure the user interface based on the rate of acceptance. We bring along 20 random users, and if 18 users state that they like the interface, then this means that we have good-looking software. Relationship between software quality attributes. We are still talking about non-functional requirements, and we have talked about several non-functional requirements. The table on the screen briefly talks about how some non-functional requirements relate to each other. For example, suppose I need to create efficient software. This means that the software should be using low power, low processor, low memory, low bandwidth for a specific platform. To achieve that, I might need to write the software in a particular way to make it as efficient as possible. As a result, the maintainability and probability of the software may decrease, hence the minus under the maintainability and portability in the table. Flexibility, for example, decreases efficiency and maintainability but increases reliability. Therefore, all the non-functional requirements characteristics might not all be applicable together. Sometimes you and the client have to choose what you actually want. In other words, you can't have everything.